Hello, my name is Bruce Devlin. I'm the Chief Media Scientist here at Dalit. And today's Bruce of Shorts is about good properties of web services. I use the acronym LADS CAR, meaning loosely coupled, abstract, discoverable, stateless, composable, autonomous, and reusable. Well, what do those words actually mean? So web services are means of different bits of software communicating with each other without them really having to be tightly coupled and know about each other. That's known as loose coupling, L. Abstract. Well, when you develop a web service or when you're going to use a web service, make certain that it's not specific to the implementation. In other words, don't build a tape movement web service, build a media movement, because the abstract case is media movement and you can have a tape or a file or some other mechanism. D is discoverable. There's no point putting lots of effort into creating web services if they can't be found. That could be as simple as a directory that humans can see or some sort of API that allows you to see what web services are available on a system. S, stateless. Remember on some of the presentations I've given about stateful design, you want to make certain that your client and your server of those web services don't have to remember state. In other words, don't implement a next page function because then you have to remember which page you are on for every single device. Implement, let's go to page three, and then the client can always know that it will always get page three of that particular service. C, composable, that just means take our big problem and chop it down into lots of indivisible bits. The reason for doing that is each one of those little bits becomes testable and your system becomes more reliable if you can test it more thoroughly. Composable A, autonomous, make certain that each of the services can look after their own existence. This great central model of having a central service uh, device creating and destroying services, it doesn't really work in practice. But if you have individual little services that are autonomous and bring themselves to life and kill themselves off when things go bad, you end up with a more reliable ecosystem. Reusable that should be the most obvious. In other words, don't build a service that just works once, but a couple of general generalities in there to make certain you can reuse that service in different workflows. I'm Bruce Devlin, this was about web services, and I'll see you at the next Bruce's Shorts.